Time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor, Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coindesk's The State of Crypto Newsletter. Hey there, Nick. So DeFi is in the crosshairs of U.S. regulators. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating the developer of decentralized exchange Uniswap, according to a Wall Street Journal report on Friday. What can you tell us about that? Hey, welcome back. And yeah, the SEC has been signaling for quite a while now that it is taking a closer look at DeFi. And it finally seems that you know, there's confirmation it is conducting an investigation. What we don't know is what exactly the SEC is asking and whether or not this investigation will for sure lead to some kind of enforcement action. It could very well be that it's just an information gathering project. But at the very least, we do know that the SEC has been asking questions about DeFi and has you know, raised concerns, uh, particularly through Chairman Gary Gensler, about issues like investor protection or whether or not tokens are being listed that could qualify as securities. So those are two of the likely areas that the SEC might be uh, taking a closer look at as part of this investigation. And of all the DeFi platforms out there, Nick, why Uniswap? I would be surprised if it's just Uniswap, to be honest. I suspect that, you know, either there are more investigations ongoing or, you know, Uniswap is just, you know, the first of the bunch. But uh, Uniswap, I guess, has, you know, a particularly high profile uh, central backer in the form of Uniswap Labs. There is a entity that you can point to and say, yeah, they are affiliated with Uniswap. So other DeFi platforms that have a similar kind of counterpart uh, might also be, you know, investigated or face inquiries soon. And again, that doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be any charges brought, just that I think that's how it's going to play out. But um, yeah, I think that what the SEC is looking at is, is there a central player that, you know, has some kind of a significant role with this, pro uh, with this DeFi platform that can, you know, answer questions or, you know, be part of this investigation? Very right, interesting. Uh, and, and I wonder, to what extent can DeFi be regulated? It's global, decentralized, ostensibly designed to circumvent government and institutional influence. Well, that kind of goes back to, you know, we've been talking about this infrastructure bill for quite a while. And the big concern there is that the IRS could impose tax reporting obligations on, you know, even uh, small players and individuals that are participating in peer to peer types of markets. And something very similar could happen here with DeFi. You know, you have uh, if the SEC says, all right, any kind of transaction, uh, you know, of these types of cryptocurrencies uh, must be reported or registered with the SEC ahead of time, then they could try and impose these types of reporting obligations to uh, DeFi platforms or at least the participants on these DeFi platforms. But mm -hmm. at least right now, it does seem more likely that they're going to focus on the, uh, you know, the firms backing these projects rather than the actual uh, traders. And Nick, any final comments on El Salvador? Uh, I think it's going to be the litmus test. You know, we're going to see how it's rolling out and whether or not it is in fact mandatory to be using Bitcoin or if it's just something that people have the option to use. Um, from the regulatory front, you know, it kind of, it just seems like, you know, so far the IMF and other countries are kind of just looking at this. They're not really huge fans of this. Um, I, I think it's way too early to see if it's going to be copied successfully elsewhere.